Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll be talking about how we can make use of ChatGPT to write performance testing using K6 performance testing tool without even writing a single line of code or with just having a basic understanding of how K6 really works. So if you see this K6 load testing tool, you can see that the K6 is quite popular because it performs a lot of different performance testing operation, not just with the API, but also you can set the threshold configuration and also run the test against GraphQL, Cookies, WebSocket, and GPRC. Not only that, you can see that you can run this performance testing not just in your machine, but also in cloud and in both the machines as well as in cloud in hybrid way. So that's how K6 really works. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna ask this chat GPT to write me a performance testing using K6 while I don't really have any information like how it has been defined over here in the documentation as you can see over here. So let's see how the chat GPT is gonna help us do that for us from the complete ground up. So as usual for doing that, I'm gonna spawn running my application over here. And this is the .NET application which I built and used in many of my Udemy courses. So if you're interested in learning the automation testing using the Playwright or Selenium or some other courses in Appium as well, I would recommend you to go ahead and watch my Udemy courses, which is available in our Udemy. But today in this particular video, we are gonna use the same application as you can see over here. So as you can see that the application is currently up and running, all I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna go grab the Swagger documentation from here. I'm just gonna copy the Swagger documentation, which is like the API spec. And then I'm gonna say write API performance testing using K6 for just 30 VUs for API spec, something like this. So once I do that, you will notice that now the chat GPT is starting to write the whole code for us very, very happily over here, like we use of 20 and duration is like 60. Uh, and then it is starting to write for the local host. I mean, it has just put a local host like 5,000, but my local host is not uh, 5,000. I know it is like 8,001, but it is starting to write the whole test for us over here. You can see that it has written uh, for the local host of 5001, the product ID of slash one, then the response uh, should be uh, coming up and it should be of 200 as the status. So, so let's just keep adding all those details over there. I mean, we can keep digging in uh, once the basic test is passing. So I'm just gonna copy this whole code and I'm gonna run this test and see how that actually works. But before I do that, I'm also gonna check like if there is any information related to how to run this test. And you will see that it says that you need to install uh, the K6 in your machine and then you need to run this script using K6 run of script.js So if you just save this file as script.js, then you gotta be running this as K6 run Script.js. That's it. That is what you gotta be doing basically So I'm just gonna go to my VS code over here and then I'm just gonna say run.js and I'm gonna paste the copied uh, code over here and then I'm going to change the uh, local host from 5000 to 8001 over here because that is the endpoint uh, which I have got within my machine so I'm going to change that I'm going to save this one wholly and then I will just try to run this and see how that actually works so as the command uh, told us we just have to run k6 run of the file name.js and once I do that, you will notice that our performance testing is currently running over here. You see that it is currently running for like 20 users uh, and then it is starting to run like the whole test for us, which is quite awesome, right? Like we have not did even a single line of code being ex uh, written and everything is actually been uh, generated by uh, the chat GPT and we have the working code over here. And while this test is currently executing, because as you can see that this test is currently executing all the uh, tests in the uh, sequence, I'm sure that that is how it is being generated. We can ask the same thing, like how can we run these uh, tests in parallel uh, to increase the performance or something like that. So once I do that, you'll notice that it is telling me that case is already runs virtual users in parallel, but the each virtual user executes the entire script from the top to bottom. So it is even telling us like how you, that the virtual users are currently being executed, but also gives me that you need to be doing using like a scenarios where you can put all the scenarios like these and then 
you try to run the whole test as it is generated within your code base over there. So you no notice that it has generated a whole option for me this time. So I'm just gonna go copy these whole options and then I'm gonna go to my VS code over here and I'm gonna replace the small option to a bigger option which is currently being generated by ChatGPT and let's try to run this whole test right now. So it could be because I just copy pasted the half baked uh, code there. So, oh yeah, you see that they have changed the code a bit in the chat GPT this time. So I'm gonna go to chat GPT probably, I'm just gonna copy the entire thing and I'm going to paste this whole thing over here. Cool, I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna run them. So now you can see that all these tests are currently being executed in parallel for us in super quick fashion and you will notice that they are even uh, coming up over here and but i mean this is how this whole thing actually works in the case so you could see that it is it is actually potentially working for us as well without any problem we can also ask some other questions from chat gpt like how can we uh, add the constant arrival rate to improve our test execution so i'm going to also do that so i'm going to say include the constant arrival rate scenario for the about test and once I do that, you will notice that it is also going to do the constant arrival rate executor to be added within our test. So you can see that from our basic test that we started off, now we are starting to keep asking more and more uh, to ChatGPT and it is keep increasing our existing test just by giving the API spec and now it is doing that for us. While that is happening, I'm also going to ask like export uh, the test results in a csv file so I'll let this to be completed fully and then i'm gonna hit enter and i'm going to hit enter once again you will notice that it is going to tell me like how we can export this whole test in the uh, csv file so you can see that all we have to do is like k6 run the script.js and hyphen hyphen out of the json is called result.json or we can also do something like this so like this is how we gotta be actually doing over there so i actually need to use the hyphen hyphen out uh, parameter to perform those operations while i'm actually gonna copy this entire test and i'm going to paste this guy over here and i'm also gonna copy this remaining code I'm gonna paste it over here and let's go and change the 5000 to 8001 and i'm gonna go and ask k6 right now that k6 run run.js and then i'm gonna say out and then i can give the uh, out url which is gonna be a json file or it can be a csv file as well i think we can give the csv here is equal to uh csv uh, result dot csv so you can see that currently all of these tests are executing for us in parallel i think the last test that we executed was not running because i didn't change the url from 5000 to 8001 that is the reason why the test was not executed but right now all the tests are being executed so you can see that now with this particular uh, chat gpt we could able to perform the whole performance testing operation without writing even a single line of code and all we have to know is just the basic understanding of how to change the urls and stuff and how to ask some actual question from the uh, from k6 to chat gpt so that it could able to answer us better i think we can ask even more layman question kind of uh, in chat gpt to tell like how you could able to uh, improve the performance or maybe add more load to improve the performance of the test or how you can able to uh, run the same thing in the Grafana or maybe how do you run the same test in the cloud, something like that. You can keep digging into it so that you get more output out of this. So now you can see that this whole execution has been completed. And now if I just do an LS, uh, you will notice that I have a result.csv file. So I'm just gonna go to that particular directory. And you'll notice that I have a case uh, the result.csv file in the K6 folder. Uh, and if I open this, you will notice that I have got the whole transaction for each and every endpoint. So the whole result has been exported over here. So you can see that we could able to do a lot more thing with ChatGPT right now by asking just few questions, by having a basic understanding of how this whole stuff works. And we have the entire test written for us without writing even a single line of code. I'm sure this is scary, but for sure, having these kind of tool, we are going to have more life easier 
by just knowing like what are the tools available by just giving a command and asking chat GPT to get the information out of it then we can probably learn to understand how these codes are being written and how we can change the code because these codes are not quite rocket science as well right like you can just go and parse that code and see how these things are working i'm sure you could be able to understand that if you have a basic understanding of javascript or other pay performance testing tools so that's it guys this is all about this chat gpt with k6 and how you can write the code and just let me know in the comments below like how or what do you think about this whole thing which is happening with the chat gpt and how you are going to be using these kind of tools at your work that will be really helpful to understand how things are with you as well. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.